Hey, welcome. I have another makeup tutorial for you. So I have an event tonight and I had a very specific look in mind and this is exactly what I was envisioning with my dress. I, I meant for this to be kind of a get ready with me, but it, you know me, I like to explain. So it turned into more of a tutorial. This is mostly high-end makeup too. So I want you to know that the next video I'm uploading is a drugstore holiday look. So look forward to that. Anyway, for now we're doing just a really classic pretty look and I wore lashes today so you know it's a big deal. So let's jump right into the look. To prep my skin, I'm going in with the 7 from my brand, Monday Born. This is both my nighttime and morning moisturizer and it works beautifully under makeup. Just gonna apply that all over into my lids and I'm gonna use whatever's left on my hands to just calm down these uh, flyaways. Just give that a second to sink in for my base. I'm using one of my favorite foundations from Dior, the uh, Forever Skin Glow in the color 4WO, which is really nice for medium olive tones. I struggle to find olive friendly uh, foundations and this is a really good one. This I use when I'm a little more tan. I'm gonna take a sponge here and take a little bit of the foundation and just start stippling it in. So this really gives that gorgeous glowing finish. Even though it's full glam, I don't want this look to be matte. I still want it to glow plenty. And the sponge that I'm using is from Makeup Forever. It was part of their water tone collection. That's what I really love about this foundation is even though there's just one layer of foundation on my skin, nothing else, I still maintained dimension. It didn't make my face two dimensional and like powdery matte. It has a lot of life and glow to it without looking greasy. Next, I'm using the Shade and Illuminate Concealer from Tom Ford. I'm so used to saying foundation because their Shade and Illuminate foundation is really one of my favorites. So this, I'm gonna go into the inner corner there. And this is pretty full coverage, but again, a lot of flexibility, a lot of movement. And now taking a mini sponge, just gonna start working that in. Anytime I use a sponge to blend in a concealer, I remember that I actually really love the finish a little bit more than a brush. It just seems to blend seamlessly a little bit more. And for concealer, especially for a look like this, I wanna get it really, really close to my um, lash line. <laughs> So let's go into a little bit of contour. I'm using the Dream Stick by um, Persona Cosmetics in the color Sahara. All those my cheeks. A little bit around my temples. And hit that jawline. And using the same uh, sponge that I used for the foundation. Just gonna stipple that until it blends in. This is a really nice, creamy, blendable bronzing stick. When you're blending your contour, the stupid hair is in my way. When you're blending your contour, uh, blend in an upward pattern, not downwards, because you don't want to drag it down into this area. You want to keep that nice and light. We're going to redo this hair clip thing. We're back. Blend upward and don't don't pull down. You can pull down a little bit toward the corner of your mouth for that definition, but don't pull it down. All right, we're getting somewhere. So now, since we're done with the highlight and contour, which I didn't blend very well, um, I'm gonna bake a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna take that same little sponge that I used for uh, my concealer and I'm taking the Hourglass, uh, what is this called, Bale? Yes, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm gonna dip in the corner, just like that. And just lay that on. Damn, it's been so long since I've done this. <laughs> Feels weird. This is gonna really give me that dramatic highlight at the center of my face. And obviously keep me from looking greasy. So while the setting powder does its thing, I'm gonna take a Tom Ford blush. This is the Shade and Illuminate blush in Explicit Flesh. I'm gonna take this brush here, kind of just mix in between the two. And start working.
Locking that in. The blush is like the blender of your contour and highlight. It's the thing that really brings it together. And funny enough, a lot of times I forget blush. It's just a step that, I don't know why, for some reason I forget. But when I do it, I'm like, oh yeah, you're supposed to do that. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to uh, dust this off. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and take the excess off and make sure that everything is nice and set. So to finish the face off, I'm gonna use this palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is called the Nude Gasm Face Palette and it's beautiful. I'm gonna take the blush brush and dip into that and just kind of go over my blush just to give it that extra glow since we wanna be really glowy tonight. And then I'm gonna take this smaller brush here and dip into the highlight shade and get into my highlight zone. Man, these baby hairs are out of control. And it looks like that is it for the face. Let's move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm using the Super Nudes palette from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Easy Eye Palette. Just a really good range of nudes. I'm gonna start with a blending brush here and dip into this shade right here. And with this, I'm gonna start right in here in my crease, just going from inner corner blending all the way to the outer corner and kind of wisping it out. Just make sure when you're doing eye, eyeshadow, don't let it pass. Don't let it go any further down than right there. Instead, just like kind of dust it out toward your temples. I'm gonna take a smaller brush here too, dip into that same color and line my lash line with it too. And I'll tell you why in just a second. So just use that same neutral shade across your lash line. So the reason I added that to my lash line too is I'm going to take a smudge brush next and I'm gonna go right into the darkest shade right here, black. I'm gonna create a liner effect with the eyeshadow and then I'm gonna build everything around it. So again, I'm just taking the black shadow and I'm going to start dotting that. across my uh, lash line and keeping it as close to the lash line as possible. Of course, we're gonna smoke it out, but you wanna start it as close to the lash line as possible. And going back to that last brush, we're going to just start to blend that out a little bit. make it softer. Just with the tip of the, uh, the smudge brush, we're gonna start applying that to the lash line. And the reason I uh, added that first transition shade to my lash line is because it's gonna make this black that much easier to blend. And for a black eyeshadow, you really don't get any fallout with this, which is really impressive. And again, going back to that um, first brush, I'm gonna dip into that there and just start to blend out. I actually don't wanna do a whole lot with um, shadow on this look because I just really love how this um, simple, soft black liner looks just kind of smoked out with a little bit of brown. So I'm just gonna reinforce this a little bit and make it a little more dramatic. So just keep building this um, liner until you're comfortable with it. The size of the wing, the thickness of the line. Now I'm gonna take the Smooth Silk Eye Pencil from Armani. It's a double-ended, has a smudge on the other end. And I'm gonna use this to really darken up my lash line and blend it as much with that 
black shadow as I can. I'm keeping this super, super close to the lash line, just for that extra definition. Get the other side. Okay, now I can hit the inner rim and just pray I don't poke myself in the eye. The goal here, what I'm trying to do is just delete any trace of like skin or lightness. I want it to be really, really black. So let's take that transition shade and just go down here. stop right there because I want to add something a little bit festive to this. So this is by Tom Ford. It's their cream and powder eye color in black sand. So what's going on down here? Okay, so here we have like a cream eyeshadow going. And then at the top, there is like this gold. It's just shimmer. It's not an opaque color. So if I do this, yeah, you can hardly see. It's not really like a color. It's just sparkles. So I'm going to take that and press it onto my lid. So with that little bit of sparkle, I think we're good to go. I am actually really happy with this look. Next, going into mascara, I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani um, Eyes to Kill. Nice black mascara. This has been kind of my go-to lately. Really, really dramatic. Um, it One of my criteria though for a good mascara is it has to also come off well. Like some mascaras are kind of a pain in the ass to remove. And this one is great. It wears well, it removes well. Ah, uh, damn it. So if you ever have anything like that, like mascara that's where it's not supposed to be, just wait for it to dry before you attempt to remove it. Because if you try to remove it while it's wet, it's just gonna be a mess. And guess what? I'm actually gonna put on lashes today. <laughs> All right, so th there are these little guys by um, Ardell. It's one of the wispy styles. And I, I even cut this one just to be a little shorter. So they're kind of gonna be corner lashes. So I've got the glue on there, and I'm just gonna lower this onto the outer corner of my lash line. You should feel the like the wetness on your lash line. And again, anchoring my finger and lowering that onto my lash line. Okay, moving on to brows. I'm using um, the Koza's Air Brow. It's a tinted um, brow gel. It's a really good one. Um, it kind of adds a little bit of color if you have some bald spots. I like this a lot because it kind of gives that laminated brow effect too. What I noticed, I haven't had Botox since like summer, like early summer. It's been like six months, I think. And so it's all gone. And I think it really helps my, because my one of my eyebrows is naturally just higher than the other, unless I do this. <laughs> so I think I'm, I should go back and get a little more, because I can't even bring this one down. Okay, we're almost done here. I'm gonna take the Victoria Beckham Lip Definer in 02. And with this, I'm just gonna contour my lips a little bit. Going right outside of the lip line, not any further. Like right at the border. And for lipstick, I'm using this pretty neutral shade from YSL. And just applying that directly. And that is it for this look. Let's put the hair down. This is pretty much exactly what I was going for with this look. Just very classic, just dramatic liner and neutral everywhere else. Added little sparkles, neutral lip. 
It's gonna look perfect with my white dress. And I will see you in my next video, which of course is gonna be drugstore makeup. This was high-end, the next one will be drugstore. I'll see you then.